Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. How are you doing? Welcome, if you're coming to class, please grab either a crystal or a rock, some kind of element from the earth. And if you have an essential oil, that's always fun to bring to class as well. And just begin to find a comfortable seat. So I'm sitting on a pillow tonight, uh, but if you are staying for class, please grab some kind of rock or crystal and an essential oil if you'd like. We'll be playing with that. And I'll put my Instagram here pinned so that if you have any questions at all, just reach out at any point. Yay, how's everyone doing tonight? So you can put in the comments uh, where you're coming in from or where you're viewing from. Tonight I'm coming from Bend, Oregon. It's so beautiful up here. I'm in a sunroom. It's beautiful. And my dog is on the bed sleeping oh but it's so beautiful this is my friend's place good all right so if you have your essential oil tonight i'm using geranium um it's a great heart protector and tonight i'm using actually instead of crystal i'm using a rock i'm going with a piece of granite very smooth very grounding and that's what called to me tonight good so find a comfortable position and just place both those things right in front of you good and just move your own seat cushions out of the way. Um, you can meditate either on your knees kneeling or sitting cross-legged or having both legs out if you'd like, either way. Great, so if you're coming for meditation, please find that comfortable seat. And we'll only be here for about 15 minutes in meditation, but I find sometimes the hardest thing to do with meditation is to actually sit, to actually do your practice. Uh, the practice can always look like um, foraging for mushrooms in the woods or in a shower or you know the meditation can take many forms but there is something special and something to be said about actually sitting down actually sitting with yourself right this practice of sitting with ourself and listening to what comes up all right good so sit up tall move your own seat cushions out of the way so that your sit bones really anchor into your seat you can do this in a chair as well. There's days where I'm like, I don't want to sit on the ground and I like sitting in a chair. So whatever feels best for you. If you've also had a really long day, feel free to lie down. Great. So reach for that essential oil if you brought one or some kind of perfume or smell that you really like. Um, there's a power in our nose, the olfactory nerve that connects to our brain and it can instantly change our mood. Um, so you can either smell the cap, yum, or you can place it somewhere on the body. That feels good for you but just to kind of create this bridge of you know I'm coming from wherever I was into being in this moment now where I'm gonna practice and kind of create this ritual for myself so I like essential oils but they, they can kind of be like a snap out of our go 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 energy and really bring us into the present moment hi everyone there's some new names here Kyle Riley cool I'm Kylie so that's cool um, welcome everyone if you want to put where you're coming in from um, I love that. I'm coming in from Bend, Oregon, so it's always fun to see. All right, so normally I have a crystal, but every now and then I like grabbing just a rock. So this is a piece of granite, and just grab a rock or something that you have, either a crystal, some kind of earth energy. So often we have our phone or some kind of technical device or our steering wheel or something in our hands. So getting that earth energy to our hands that are positive and negative ions with the earth in our bodies can reduce our inflammation and um, I don't know if you've ever watched the Irving documentary but it's a really enlightening documentary on on how to release inflammation in the body good so grab that stone or crystal and you can either place it just in front of you or if you're feeling like you know I want it on me on one of my legs or women or men whoever you can put it in your shirt or your bra or your pants Tonight, I feel like holding mine just to really feel that energy. Sometimes I'll do two crystals, but let's just practice having that in our hands. Good. So sit up tall, close the eyes, and just allow the jaw and the shoulders to both drop away from the face. Good. Now slowly take in the biggest breath that you've taken so far today. And then let it out and really exaggerate the exhale. Good, two more like that. Just really slowly breathing into both sides of the belly, both sides of the chest. And letting it easily pour out. Good. 
one more big breath like that. And let it go. Allow yourself to swallow and just be in silence for a few moments. I'll guide us at some point, but just really feel what it's like to be with your own breath, your own mind, and just taking this time as an accountability partner to just be with yourself. Tell yourself that you're allowed to make time for peace. You're allowed to make time for rest. That it's actually productive to do these things. Keep allowing your shoulders to melt down away from the face. Soften the belly and the chest. See if you can breathe in even slower. So maybe half the speed of the last few breaths and just try it for the next couple. What does it feel like to move slow in the body? Can you notice more? Good, that's it. Good. Sit up tall so that this, the channel in your spine can be opened. That way each and every little vertebrae has a little bit of space in between it. Good. Keep lifting the top of the head towards the sky as you root the sit bones down into the pillow or the chair or the earth. Good. And now take one big cleansing breath, one healing cleansing breath through the whole spine. Good. And let it go. Now open your palms up towards the sky. And if you're needing a little extra grounding, you can try the Apana Mudra, which is the rock on symbol. Palms face up. So that's a good grounding and digestion mudra. If you're really wanting to bring more peace to your mind and to your human experience, you can try this classic mudra of the thumb and the pointer finger. Either way, palms face up or face down, you can play with that. Sit up tall. Allow yourself to swallow just to help soften those inner throat muscles. Good. And if you're not comfortable, you can try leaning more forward or leaning back or side to side until you kind of find that center space. But you want to make sure that you're equally on both hips, both sit bones. Sometimes I'll find myself like 80% on one side. So just really try and find that center space. Good. And as your breath begins to slow down, you notice so too does the motion of your mind. And sometimes a tidal wave of more thoughts and more things can come as we begin to slow down. So just let that happen. That's totally normal. Good. And as you have sat up tall, that spine of yours is beginning to open. And the spine is a really powerful center channel. So just using your imagination as you breathe here and sit up great posture, looking good. Just imagine that this space above your head begins to open. Bear with me now. Go into your five-year-old self if you have a hard time with visualizations. You've got this. Good. Opening up the top of the mind and just imagining this ball of light. Playing with light is super fun. I love playing with light. Good. It can be a certain color. Or it can just be white or gold light be multiple colors but just begin to imagine this really cool light above your head in this circular form 
Good, and just breathe with it. Kind of get curious with it. I'll give you a few moments just to connect with this visualization. Very nice, good. And just allow this, this circle of light, this sphere of light to begin to grow bigger. And then it kind of begins to shower over the outside of your body. So it's kind of like an energy shower, just getting this light to bathe over the space around your body. So we can pick up the frenetic energy of electromagnetic frequencies from our phones, from telephone wires, from just busy energy. So we're just allowing this light to just bathe the sides of us, the front of us, the back of us, and just imagine it. If you're hot right now, you can imagine it being cool or vice versa. Just play with this light. Let yourself play. Good. Good. Keep letting yourself play with this light. See what it feels like. Do you feel silly? Do you feel cleansed? Do you feel relaxed or energized? Just notice how you feel. Good. Are you breathing? Invite in that gentle big breath in and out. Good, and if this feels good around your body, sometimes I'll ask my visualizations or my imagination to make this ball as big as the room and to begin to shower the whole room. So the whole space that I'm in right now, the whole space that you're in, just imagine that this light, mine's kind of like a rainbow iridescent tonight just to begin to cleanse everything in the room, the sheets, the floors, the walls, the lamps, whatever, wherever you are, just to give the entire space this like energetic bath. Why not? Couldn't hurt, right? <laughs> Good. Keep allowing that breath. Keep imagining this space. If you could kind of like scrub the walls with this light, with this energy, what would that feel like? Sometimes when I imagine this light, I imagine that only good surrounds me. Only vitality surrounds me. Only pure energy surrounds me. Whatever few words you want to feel more of, only prosperity surrounds me. Whatever those words are you want to bring in tonight, only calmness surrounds me. Only success, whatever, just pick many words, one word, it doesn't matter. But just begin to infuse this light in your imagination into the space. Begin to feel those words as you keep letting this light and your mind scrub the walls and scrub the windows. Maybe getting underneath the couch, underneath the bed, any of those nooks and crannies. And replacing that energetic dust or cobwebs or whatever with these energies. So I'll let you play with that for a few moments in your own mind. Just remember to keep breathing as you visualize. Good. You're doing good. This is out there, but you're doing great. Keep going. And when the outside space feels clean, you can begin to allow this light into your body, down your spine, into the body. And this is when it becomes very like universal energy. You can begin to feel the energy within you matching this energy that is all around you. Allowing this energy to gently flow into the body, only the highest vibration of light is allowed to enter you and enter your space. You feel this light begin to melt down into your bones, your blood, your skin, your hair. And you begin to allow this light to fill you up from the inside out, cleansing out anything within you that feels stagnant or sticky or painful. Anything you no longer need in your body, your mind, or your emotions that you hold in your body can be cleansed and released now. 
literally sometimes I've been holding on to something for 10 years and I notice it in these moments and it releases. So really give yourself this time to explore. Let yourself be weird. Let yourself tune into the divinity that exists within you now. Good. Breathe and relax those muscles as you rest back into your truth. Good. Keep telling yourself that you are already so full of love and light and magic. This is just a bonus of cleansing so that you can really clear away any stagnation or cobwebs within yourself so that you can fully begin to overflow from your true self out into the world. These practices at first felt so weird and out there for me. The more I played with them, the more I was like, wow, regardless if it's imagination or not, it's doing something to my mental state. It's doing something to how I see myself, the cleanliness, the beauty, the vitality that I'm now seeing around me and within me. I swear, I feel like my face started shifting and my hair started like literally, I feel like over time this really became such a powerful practice. Good. Keep playing with this light. You're doing great. As this light begins to clean inside the body and bring vitality back to your cells, your organs, what does it feel like? High vibration and low vibration cannot exist at the same time. So when you bring this high vibration into the body, into that knee that's always been hurting you or to your back, you can almost begin to locate that like stagnant, sticky, sometimes gray or dark energy that's in you and clear it with this high vibrational light. Why not give it a chance? Good, keep breathing. Do one more body scan before we begin to move our bodies and just do this nice scan from your head all the way down to your fingertips and your toes. And take a few moments to just notice if there's any other stuck nook and crannies that you could infuse with this vitality, with this light. And just blast those parts of you. Good. You can use your hands if you want to use a hand or two to really locate. Maybe the throat's really bothering you. You want to infuse that part of you. Or the heart. Or that one hip. Just take your time here. Very nice. Gently release that crystal in your mudras, place it in front of you. Good, inhale, reach your arms up overhead, stretching, reaching, creating space in the lungs. Interlace the fingers, flip the palms up towards the sky, keep your, your hips anchored on the earth, and begin to just stretch side to side, taking big breaths. And you can go as fast or as slow as you'd like here. The shoulders are going to go up towards the ears, that's fine, but sometimes you can practice pulling the shoulders back down. Just feeling what that feels like in the body. Good. We'll meet back in center, release the fingers, and just flick the hands, just draining the wrists. How often are our wrists and hands above our heart? Not often, but yet we use them all day, so good. Just drain out any stagnation in the wrists or the hands good doing so good bring the right hand in front of you and just grab around the wrist with the left hand and just begin to massage downward so we're draining that wrist good so if you're on your phone ever or computer or car, driving the car which I feel like we all do all of that or cooking Good. You can do a fist now and drag your knuckles, but we're just draining it down and up towards the heart. So if it was like this, you'd be going towards the heart. 
we do it like this, it gets that extra drain time. Good. <laughs> Whew, give it a few pats. Thank you, hands, for all you do. Good, switch sides. A lot of the stuff I, stuff I teach is just overall self-care, body maintenance. Good, so if you're ever interested, let me know. I teach also every Wednesday from 6 to 7 p.m. Pacific time via Zoom. That link is in my bio as well. And it's just donation based, just like this class. Good. And get a little pat. Thank you, hand. We love you. Good. Nice and release. Open the palms up. And bring the arms behind you as you bring your heart forward. Good. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale, round the back, tuck the head towards the chest and bring your hands together. Good. As the hands touch, inhale back to the heart. Good. Exhale, round the back as you dive forward like you're diving into a nice ocean of good energy. Good. And then opening up. Nice. This is called Robin's Breath. You can also go as slow or as fast as you'd like, but it's a non-weight-bearing version of like a cat-cow, getting that same benefit in your spine and organs and digestion. Good. Good. Keep breathing with it. See how it feels in the shoulders and the ribs and the hips. Good, keep going. This is like an everyday one. I love Robin's breath. Good. Try going half the speed. Whoa, it's so hard to slow down in our productive world. Permission to slow down. Good, try it. It won't kill you, I promise. Good, in fact, it often brings us more life. Good. And we'll all make that cut our heart. Good. Close the eyes if that feels good. And just take a moment of prayer or intention for yourself or someone in your life. Maybe it's a prayer for the world or something that you have been wanting to give attention to. So just send a little bit of that love this energy of your practice to those wishes. Good, take a big breath of all that goodness in. Exhale, let it go. Did you pray for yourself? Do you want to take an extra moment just to send a couple of prayers for yourself? Please do so. We want you fully vibrating. Very nice. Now just try rocking side to side. Do a few head rolls. A few nice big breaths. The world is so lucky to have you. Oh my gosh. The worst thing about online is that I don't get to actually see all your faces, but I creep on you afterwards just to see what kind of amazing souls um, are attracted. So if at any point you want to stay connected with me, I love meeting you all. Such cool souls come through here. So. For the final few moments of class, please come all the way down onto your back and soak up this Shavasana. There's people, there, I feel like there's a couple of types of people. The people who soak up Shavasana and it's like their life, they love it. Or there's the people who are like, I don't need Shavasana, I did my practice, I can go. And there's something I notice when I actually do Shavasana, even if it's for a few breaths, it just feels like finally honoring the body. Think about how much you do how much you do in a normal given day and how much you could benefit from just a few breaths of lying down and giving yourself that time. So enough with the <laughs> tangent on Shavasana, but please come down all the way. And if it feels good to take up a little bit more space, oh, you're welcome, honey. I know I need to tell myself that all the time. So we're in this together. <laughs> good. So come down all the way. And instead of being like a zipped up little mummy, which is great, I would love for you to take up space. So think of it more like a starfish. So really opening those legs up wide, opening the arms up wide. Good. 
and closing your eyes and you can have your hands on your chest or belly if you're working in those realms and you want to go deeper in there or if you're feeling really safe and you just want to relax you can do the palms open towards the sky and just close your eyes soaking up this time for yourself yes thank you heart thank you stars good thank you i know i need it <laughs> what a cute name the antique rider oh i can't wait to check you all out after <laughs> Good, so as you lay there, you can gently reach over for your essential oil. And same thing to close your practice, just like our bridge that we started in the beginning of class, we're gonna close it with this oil. So you can smell the cap, or you can put some on you somewhere, like behind your temples or something. Or if you don't have any essential oil, you can just imagine your favorite scent tonight. Good, and just close the eyes. As you close your eyes, notice that your bones and the weight of your beautiful body is going to start getting pulled by gravity down into the floor, down into the earth. Feel this connection. Feel this opportunity of being held by the ground that you walk on, that is always with you. Good. Allow your arms and your back and your legs to begin to melt down into the floor. Even the back of your head begins to melt down into the ground and your breath stays light, filling your body with this fresh energy. Begin to feel as you breathe that this light begins to fill up your body from the inside out, this final expression of new energy coming into the body. <coughs> Close the eyes and allow all the muscles in the face to soften. Feel what it feels like to feel safe, to feel held, to feel supported and encouraged and loved. May you know that you are already so full of love and light, magic and wisdom, that you have things that the world needs to hear, that you have purpose, that you have wings to fly and feet to ground and a heart to spread joy. And may you continue to come back to yourself in these practices so that you can be so full that you have no choice but to overflow from the inside out. I pray that you are well, mind, body, heart, soul, and spirit. And just for showing up and us finding each other, I just want to say I love you so much. Gently begin to turn your head side to side in Shavasana, just waking up the neck and the back of the head. You can pick one place on the body to put your hands, whether it's on your heart or over your eyes that just needs a little extra boost or your ears. And you can gently, slowly come on back up, or you can stay in Shavasana. Either way, thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you for coming to class tonight. My name is Kylie Mack, and it's so cool to feel your energy on the other side of the screen. And I really hope you're doing well. And I'll see you next week. I teach from 5 to 5.30 here at Modern School of Mystics. And then I teach from 6 to 7 p.m. via Zoom. Um, and that's just my own class and students donation based and that's also in the link in my bio thank you i love the hearts that always makes me happy i don't know why <laughs> um and then if you do feel like donating and you got something out of this class i love receiving your donations and those links for venmo and paypal are also um, right here in my instagram at kylie mac so regardless hope you're doing well thanks so much i wish i got to meet in real life and like actually hug and get to know each other but until then i'll see you over here much love um, before I go, if you want to say how you feel or what crystal or rock or essential oil you brought to class, I love hearing it. Tonight I had geranium and a piece of granite because I was just feeling the full rock vibes. Um, but yeah, let me know. I'll stay for an extra 30 seconds or so. And um, if you want to let me know where you're coming in from, it's so cool to see. I'm coming in from Bend, Oregon tonight. So, yeah. So many new faces and names, I love it.
just like we keep it there are so many good people in the world doing good things we just have to remember that have a beautiful day from france i love it feeling centered <sighs> good that's like my goal so i would love to connect with you the antique writer and fabrice am i saying that right um what beautiful names thank you both so much for coming it's so funny you do a green heart i've been like obsessed with the green heart emoji lately i don't know why um but thank you all so much so much love i'll see you soon